make sure that folks hear me say it truly is my preference that we are able to reach an agreement before the state has to make any kind of decision about if they will or if they won't intervene um, in our negotiations. The reason I took the job of superintendent, the reason I was interested in the role of superintendent, was because I wanted to be able to lead in a different way. So I'm, my pledge is that I'm going to continue to be open, a listener, um, and looking for ways to find middle ground uh, for us here today. We came here tonight in good faith. <laughs> Susanna, you started talking tonight about how you were different than the previous administration. <laughs> Susanna, you are the previous administration. You made promise after promise after promise, and tonight you came with another empty promise. You expressed the concerns of our educators that included a competitive salary schedule that meets the needs of our teachers and is similar to other districts. We asked for a salary schedule that included more lanes for educators to have additional opportunities for movement. We asked for the ability to use PDUs to move through lanes like our current agreement. We asked you for a salary structure that honored base salary and reduced the variable pay bonus structure. The offer that you have brought today is an example of your inability to listen to our educators. From this day forward, you will have no choice but to listen. I remind you that we had a 93% strike vote. And membership is going up! It is time for Governor Polis to respect our right to strike. Yeah. And when he does, that is exactly what we will do.